I remember getting to a point in, in my life where I, I didn't, I didn't want to be a priest. I didn't always think that this was the plan. Of course, this, this is not what I wanted for myself. And even when I felt called to be a priest, and, and, you know, kids think that this is crazy. I always ask them, and when God called me, do you think that I, what do you, what do you think I said? And they're like, you said yes. And I'm like, I said no. <laughs> and, and the reason was, is because I wasn't mature enough to accept what he was asking me to do. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. And, and, and I, I look back at that. I'm not proud of that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed of it either because I know that the Lord used even my immaturity and my lack of readiness to form me. And, um, and I became ready because I was honest with Him. And yes. I think that that's something that's so important in discernment of knowing our vocation is, is to not try to, to hide what we know is true. And at that time, I knew I was being called to priesthood. I was just saying no, and I was saying not yet, and I'm not ready. And, um, but I came to a point about after three years after feeling called to the priesthood in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament, like knowing that it came from Him in the silence of my heart and, and hearing God's voice like I'd, I'd never heard it before. About three years later, I got to a point where I thought that I had everything that I wanted. You know, my team had won a championship. We'd, um, I was doing well. I, I, I kind of like looked back on my prayer and I thought everything that I prayed for has, has come to fruition like in this moment. Like I feel great. And I was saying to the Lord, this is it. Like this is it. And then that, that moment of grace, I started saying to myself like, wait a second. It was like the, the Holy Spirit struck my heart. And I was saying, wait, this is it? Like that's all? That's all, I'm 25 years old, and that's the only thing I planned for my entire life. That, that, that's all I wanted. And I remember in that time making a really logical statement that it helped me to discern, because I think some people think that we just blindly follow Jesus. We just, like, pie in the sky. It, you must be holy to do this, and so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and that was never my way of discernment, and I would have never done it that way. But I remember being very logical because I needed it to make sense in my mind. And so I said, do I believe in Jesus? Do I believe in God in general? And the answer to that was yes. Like I, I always have. I, I, I'm thankful for that. It was a gift of, uh, a gift from God, but and it was fostered throughout my life. But I've always believed in God. Do I believe that He has a plan for my life? Which is something you just said. And, and then I thought, well, yeah, He does have a plan for my life. Because if He didn't, then why did He create me? Yeah. Like there, there would be no purpose, and then life would be arbitrary. And I didn't think life was arbitrary. I don't believe in that. I absolutely believe that God has a plan for every single person when he, when he, they were born in his mind, right? Before we were ever created and knit together in our mother's wombs, he had a plan for us. The question really, what it comes down to though, is, is the God who we believe in, the God who has a plan for our life, do we believe that he can communicate that to us? Yes. Do we believe that we can hear his voice, right? And Pope Benedict XVI, God rest him, you know, he said, you know, we have a God who speaks, and he's, he, he called him the God who speaks, almost as if it was his proper name, like in, in capital letters, he's the God who speaks. And I, I remember reading that, I thought, this is, uh, the God who speaks has spoken to me. Yes. And, um, and the final question that I asked myself after knowing that he, he had created me for a purpose and I could hear his voice because I believe that I did, even though I didn't want to, at the end I said, what if I never become the man that God created me to be? What if I never become that man? And maybe there's a lot of consequences to never becoming the man or the woman that we've create, been created to be. But I knew at that moment when I was seeking happiness and the greatest fulfillment of happiness, that logically I could never be completely fulfilled in my heart and in my soul if I never received everything that was being offered to me. And, and, and my vocation was being offered to me. And I was saying, I didn't want it. I was saying, no. And that got me over the edge, that, that, that incredible grace that I, I received in that, in that day, that night, and over those weeks of discerning that, that path, I realized that, well, what if I do become the man that God has created me to be? Put it in positive terms. What if I do become that man? And the answer is that I'm living it right now, and it's the greatest thing that ever, that ever happened. You didn't ask me if I was happy, <laughs> I know, sister, so but like, but sister, I, I have to tell you, <laughs> <laughs> I love being a priest. I love being a priest. I can't imagine doing anything else. And people ask me all the time, do I miss soccer? And the answer to that is, of course, I, I miss the game that I love to play, but I would never go back. I, I would never go back. Like, I trade it up. I trade it up, and I, and I love the life that I'm able to live, and then it's only because it wasn't my plan. It was, it, was, it was the gift that was given to me. It was that voice that was spoken to me, as you said, and it was, it was offered. And, and I think that 
what we really have to understand in vocation is that we are called, as you said, the, that, that word vocare in Latin means to be called to something. And, and I hope, I hope that, that people know that, that the Lord is calling them, yes. will call them, perhaps has called them, and it's never too late to respond to His voice. He's, he's incredibly patient, incredibly patient, and He's waiting our whole lives for us to respond to His voice.